Morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. We're in the brewery today, on my birthday believe it or not. So yes, I'm going out tonight and I'm gonna have loads of painkillers and that kind of thing. Uh, we're not gonna do a massive vlog here though today because we've got other things to do. I'm testing the battery on the car and at the same time, not at the same time, I've washed my hands. We're gonna be taking, uh, harvesting some yeast out of the tanks. And in the background you'll hear some banging around because Stu's taking some casks of beer out the cold room into the cellar for the pub, for the weekend of course. So I'm going to pass the camera across to Jem and uh, she's going to film me while I set up and take a uh, sample of yeast, not a sample, I'm going to harvest some yeast from the bitter. I've already done it on the stout, just an experiment like because if it didn't work, I thought, well, I can ditch it because of the colour. And this is the yeast sample we've got from the stout, which looks really healthy. So we're gonna have a go with the best bitter, and if that works as well, we've got the vacant and the proof of concept, and both of these have USO5, whereas the stout and the best have Nottingham Ale yeast. So I'll hand you over to Jem, and she can, uh, Zip round, around here my love, and uh, we can get stuck in. So we've cleaned the bottom of these tanks and valves, and I've also opened the valve and dropped the trub out the bottom of the tank, so most of the trub, most of the trub is gone, we shouldn't be getting a blockage, um, like when I tried to do it the other week. The yeast wouldn't come out because it was blocked up with all hops and whatnot. So none of these tanks have been dry hopped yet and I want to do that before the weekend which is why we're taking the yeast out of the tank now. We've crashed to about 16 degrees. That should allow the yeast to kind of just drop out of sediment to, out of suspension a little bit and sediment at the bottom of the tank. So here we go. So the first um, fitting that we're going to put on is an extension. So I'm spraying paracetic acid onto the uh, valve there and I've got a tank of acid at the side of my bucket and I'm dipping the whole fitting into that bucket and then we're going to fit that extension section onto the bottom of the valve like that. And the next section that we want is going to be the side glass and this is going in front of the valve in front of the second valve that I'll be putting on or behind it actually in front of the main valve behind the diaphragm valve so we can observe the yeast or trub or whatever might come first before it reaches our collection vessel and then we have the diaphragm valve itself will give this a good soak in the uh, in the acid making sure that the valves open and then what I'm going to do is just stand it in front of the uh, side glass and then I want to adjust the height so it lines up properly and then we're going to take the tri clamp fittings and gasket and then we're going to piece these two fittings together. It's a little bit awkward because this actually is a bit on the low side and it won't go any lower so I'm going to have to try and pinch it a bit to get it all lined up like so. We're almost there. There we are, we've got it on. So I'll just nip up these two RJTs. So on the side glass we've got an RJT on one side and a tri clamp on the other. And then finally we have another tri clamp back to RJT to allow us to put an elbow on to collect. So we'll just stick this 
last fitting on that. There we go. So the setup is in position. We're going to close the diaphragm valve all the way down. So we don't want it to fly out the end. And then we're going to redirect the flow to the side with this 90 degree. And then we'll just make sure everything is nipped up nice and tight. And then I'm going to position one of these collection vessels, basically just out of an old fridge. And if you want to come and get a close up shot of this gem, we want to first have a look in the sight glass here. So you'll see in the sight glass, I'm just going to slightly crack the diaphragm to allow the air to escape so we don't get a bubble go back up the cone. Are you looking here? Can you see me? So we don't get a bubble go back up the cone. We're just going to slightly crack this and uh, then open the main valve so we can hear the air coming out. So the main valve's fully open. If you look in the sight glass, you can zoom in on the sight glass and you'll be able to see there we go, it's filled up with yeast. And then if you come back to the collection vessel, zoom out a bit, love, and uh, you'll start to see the yeast, or whatever it is that we're gonna be harvesting, flowing out the bottom of the tank. <clears throat> and that's a lovely, creamy, foamy, yeast and looking at it it almost looks to me like that's the kind of stuff I want to be collecting it looks really healthy don't you think very foamy it's foamy but it's it's the color it's a nice color so I've got a collection jar if you can call it that and we're just gonna go and pop some of that yeast in here There we go. Yeah, look how dense it is. That looks like good yeast to me. Good colour, creamy, almost no trub in suspension there. I'm going to cover it up while I'm talking because I don't want anything to land on it. And then I'm just going to close three sides to this container and we're going to leave one open to vent it. And I'll pop this up here at the side of this one and you can see the difference stout and can you see that Gemma or are you a million miles away love you need to fill the screen with what's on there we go so stout and uh, bitter now what I'm going to do is come back to here and we're going to dump the rest of the yeast cake out just observe it, see if it got any better. Come and get down onto it, darling. I think you're doing all this from a bit of a distance. You could be a bit more zoomed in. So yeah, that's just pretty much the same as what we've just had, isn't it? So let's get into the second tray. what we're looking for is if it either gets better or worse and I think that's just thinning out now isn't it yeah there's not as many air bubbles in that is there? no no, no, no yeah. I think it's more beer we're moving on to beer now yeah yeah than yeast mm -hmm. so essentially if you look at the size of that tank I reckon we could have perhaps collected almost all of that if we'd have sanitised these. Yeah. So yeah, there we go. Uh, if I can pinch the camera off you, love. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, she needs training up on the camera a little bit, but I do try. She did a good job, hopefully. So there are two vessels that we could potentially have harvested. So I'm just going to tip them down the drain. I'm going to take all this off, rinse it, sit it in this warm water, and then it'll go through 
the paracetic acid and then into the vacant gesture or onto the vacant gesture tank and we'll harvest some O5 and we can have a look if the O5 is any different to the Nottingham Ale yeast. Right we've got a result, check this lot out, beautiful beautiful harvested yeast and I tell you what when there's no um, what you call it dry hop in there the yeast actually looks fantastic so you can see the yeast is settling out foam with a bit of beer so yeast beer foam all three oh sorry all five of these beers or yeast samples god if I can speak properly it will be a wonder all five of the samples are beginning to settle out and I think we're going to have good clean yeast uh, yeast yeah I don't need to put another word onto it good clean yeast ready to pitch into a beer next week the proof of concept Gal 59 yeast the 05 out of there has actually come out really nicely so uh, I expected it to be the worst of the bunch but it's not it's pretty good I've left one tab open on the side of each of these containers the different sizes because uh, they didn't have that many in the shop when I went this morning and then what we're going to do is we're going to take these yeast samples or I'm going to stop calling them samples and I'm going to call them uh, just tubs of yeast I think and over here we've got an old freezer that uh, I've got an STC hooked up to and the temperature is coming down I'm setting it to two degrees at first and then I'll check the temperature uh, but I want to set it to one degree ultimately and uh, we're gonna store the yeast in there like that so I'll just go and get the rest of them and this will then be our this is our little yeast bank so all of the yeast now is in our yeast bank and we'll be using that after the weekend so yeah uh, if you want to tune in next week's vlog will be acid washing this yeast before we use it and that's not the same as what most home brewers are doing they're rinsing yeast we're gonna be washing this with phosphoric acid I think it is before we use it so before we go home Gemma is just about to uh, do the dry hop. Let's pull the lid because I want to look at the beer and how it's fermenting in these particular tanks. So up and then slide it back. That's good, that's good. Uh, well it looks healthy. We've got, I could have top cropped that you know. Right. You can see the... Um if you want to lift the lid, love, I'll sprinkle in the cascade. And uh, where's the tilt? It's just in front of you. Oh, the tilt's down here, look. You see him floating there. So let's just sprinkle these hops all about the place. When we put the dry hops in for the other beers, we don't usually get to look in the tank because I often don't open it. Oh, that was very nice and simple. Right, I suppose I'd better log it on the tilt that the dry hops have just gone in. See if that makes any difference. Uh, do you mind if you take uh, cherry soap and lemon soap to be warm? Uh, no, I'm going to take some more soap home actually because I've used that lemon one. It's, it's amazing, that lemon one. Right, folks, I've just done a video on the, uh, the red IPA that we made, aka brown, American brown. So that'll be following this video shortly and uh, it'll be up on the channel. But it is my birthday after all and I've been to work and we've harvested yeast and done all sorts of other great things. So I'm just going to finish this off and we're going to bugger off home. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.